Easy. Okay, you guys decide. Limit Curse, Premature Reaper, and Pervy Chad. Let me wait, actually, let me see something. Hexaghost. They're all so good, actually. They're all so good in their own way. I would say Reaper is one of the best cards ever. Reaper has to be top. Not only is it one of my, I think it's probably the best card in Ironclad. Impervious is really good for some Act One early damage, but there's not really that much Act One early damage to call from Impervious, you know. Although this leads into like a barricade thing down the line, if you get, you know, that could be something. Reaper is just decent AOE, nice sustain, super high ceiling. Limit Break, of course, you can get rid of it, it's only one, also has a decent ceiling. Reaper is the best card ever. Fee's up there as well. Got a cheeky little feed, and we also got a little bit of, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I would say the list is definitively Feed, Reaper, and Fire Breathing. No questions asked. Now you ask why I skipped Fire Breathing, it's because I don't want to be too strong at the moment. Uh, it is a little unfair. I like taking this gold for the regret. Um, mainly because there was a chance for removal, but... On second thought, when I'm looking at it now, I'm seeing a lot of hallway fights. And no immediate shop. This could end poorly. True hit. Hmm. It's come to this time where I need to make I need to make a fan. Yeah, Flex the fan. Pog. Flex is interesting. Flex is actually, uh, I don't know, it makes Reaper a little bit better. I like Twin Strike, but we have so many two cost cards at the moment. The Flex could be a nice little addition to it. I don't usually do this. One second, I gotta hide the camera because I'm about to... I had to go to the, the back table here. Oh, nice. This, this is the stuff right here. I wanted to get Reaper, but um, this is fine. Rampage? Hmm. Where's the shop, guys? Where's the shop? Alright, we're gonna have to do this elite and hope that we get um, a shop in the event. Squares. I despise this man. But he's a dead man. Ooh. Pog. Because it's also. It's also. Not only is it a really good Reaper, but Lago Bull, and I could just get it out for free. Just sit here, mind my business. Don't mind me.
Got it. Blue candle. That manages the curse. That dumps the strength. We just need let me diminish our block. We've been here before, boys. We've been here before. We have bottle lightning on what? Bottle or true grit? No, not Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's called Kingdom... Kingdom New Land, or Kingdom... Kingdom Kingdom New Lands. Let's just, I'll just try it out. Here's the key. Although, yeah, it's the key here. Shop. Ooh, I can remove the curse, or I can keep it with blue candle. Get even more gold. That's selfish. One. Oh, two. You know what? Three. Is this kind of a, uh, a skill? Good. I like Shockwave here, but it's, it's starting to get too expensive. The deck's super expensive. Hmm. Demon Farm, you're a little late yet again, buddy. But I don't expect you to be good at Act 1, alright? That's not your job. You're not supposed to be good at Act 1. Second true grid, huh? Iron Wave dumps our strength and gives us some block attached to it. Hmm. One block. So many, he has so many elites as well. I guess I took Sarah Power for this, but you know what? I'm gonna do like this. I like it. Here's my dilemma right now because this is not bad, but it could be so much better. It is what it is. In fact, I want to take a little bit of damage anyways because I'm going against Hexa Ghost. Huh. I was hoping for like explosive pot. All right. That's awkward. Are we at a point now where like we just don't play Demon Farm? And we'd rather just True Grid it at this point? And that Rampage potentially just be the finishing blow here? Hmm, so, alright. I was gonna ramp here the guy on the left, and then I realized there's a lot of days coming up. But believe it or not, this is actually like close to ideal amount of life, I would say. A little bit lower than I want to be, but... Hmm. 
Spot weakness. I like it even even though I have demon form. I just think spot weakness is it allows me to be more flexible. So I'm not so caught up in playing demon form or have to play it for the just have some kind of strength skilling regardless. I actually think it complements it pretty well, but Yeah. Okay, we can dig or we can um upgrade the second not the second, but we can upgrade the um the demon form, we can upgrade it. Just dig. <laughs> A lot of strength. Huh. Barricade. God damn it. You know what I just realized? <laughs> the thing I was using to, to, to blow air was actually really dusty. I gotta let Reaper do more. Now is not the time. But unfortunately, Shockwave is also not the time. We can get rid of Shore Boomerang. That's the best strength timing card we have, though. This is a time where True Grit is really awkward. And I suppose we get rid of Shockwave at this point. That was a tough choice. Uh, part of me wanted to do strength, uh, d not the strength, but the, um... Reaper's gonna be a huge thing here. I kinda wanna start pushing for lethal, because we're about to have lethal, right? I can take the hit. Now we're fine. It's closer, it's closer than it needs to be. So Impervious is great. We're not doing the second. So we did this last time. I said, "Okay, we'll meme it up, guys." Second team of four. I'm just hope for Snake Y. But at this point, I'm, I'm. Let's just get the win, right? I still don't mind. I still don't mind. All right. Listen, Snake Y is still perfectly fine, regardless. Like I mean, Snake Y was. F it's fine either way. I'm saying it would have been cool to have double demon form, but it's and not in any way optimal, right? So we're gonna do sparkle and we're gonna do it's another elite. Easy, easy clap. So I get the sparkle out of the way. Totally fine. Let's do it. Gotta hit that shop too. Where's my Reaper?
Heavy Blade dumps your strength. Uh, I feel like we're fine because we already have strength dumping, right? We, it's the same dilemma as last time where we don't want to add... We, but right now we want to make sure we don't take as much damage. So Heavy Blade doesn't seem as necessary. Oh, we do have Vajra with spot weakness. Hmm. I'm tempted. Hey, what's up, D D Justice? How you doing, buddy? I'll do it. Steroid versus... Yeah, I'm taking this, actually. Flex. Poof. Okay. Disgusting card in this deck. This goes very unkind at the moment. I'm good, man. I've just been really hot. The air doesn't work, so... It's been messing me up. Might not be able to kill this guy. We tried. We were rich anyways. So, Sentinel gives me more energy sometimes if I can get... I think Sentinel might be the better play. Because Battleship's Plus is great, don't get me wrong. War paint? Hmm. I like headbutt. Move a strike at headbutt. Dark Shackles is great, but. Mm. I think I'm gonna save the rest of my money here. You don't like Bottle Flame, yeah? Oopsies, what the hell? Yeah, we're fine. I should probably move, I should probably move the curse this point. Just take care of Lubick. Good night, buddy. Damn. What's the best beta art, in my opinion? I like Unload. I think Unload is really nice beta art. Big fan. Big fan. I think alone is top tier. I haven't seen the Fino Pain bit art. I haven't seen that actually. We're, we're getting by off the skin of our little Reaper, 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 right? Corruption. It's good stuff. We're not gonna rest, right? So if I were to upgrade anything, I would upgrade, I think Demon Form for more scaling. The... Potentially sensitive for more energy, or... Impervious for more flat block. That's probably about, probably it. Yeah, I love the unload beta art. Can we survive whatever elite this is before, like, because we need to buy time for Demon Form to scale up, right? So maybe I just rest, just so I have the health for Demon Form to scale up. It seems to be the safest play. Let's do these guys. Wow, what the hell? So this is unfortunate because... Wow. Because I'm, I'm going to end up doing big Reaper shenanigans. So I didn't need to rest at all. Of course, I didn't anticipate that I was going to do that. I didn't anticipate that. That would, I could have got an upgrade there. But I'm not thinking right.
Not bad. Cleave for AoE. So who's the boss here? Max HP. Of course we would like to dig something crazy, right? Priorities. Here's Funeral Pain, let me see. That's pretty good. Ripped off the bandaid. I like that, I like that. On low also it's like a, just a really nice composition. A little looks really good. It's aesthetically pleasing. The thing about that one is like, yeah, it's a cool art, but something about it like is very muddy. The color the color scheme is not that great. And that makes a break it for me. Can you kick it? Yes, we can. Can I kick it? So all the other brothers, some bum bum bum. All right, you know what? It's time to bring back Reaper. It's time. Let's go, baby. Zoom for life for the Twitch Prime. Hi, dude, buddy. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. You could you could dig your branch. You could dig any relic. It doesn't matter if it's rare or not. Master Stab is interesting, but like his so Master Stab is like so bad it's funny. Unload is actually like kind of funny, but also like I said, aesthetically pleasing. It looks pretty good. Headbutt number two or max HP. You can also do clothesline since clothesline is going to be too cost. This weakens allows me to have more weaken at, at the ready. Give me the max HP. Alright, we're going to do both of these fights. That's the game plan. That is the game plan here. I need to decide though. Do we want to do Reaper now? I would say yes. Headbutt is a thing. So since headbutt is a thing, if I can bring Reaper back with headbutt, I can have more life going into the next act. Going to the next part of this fight, I mean. Well, damn. Alright. There's the headbutt. You gotta be shitting me. You had to be shitting me. Wow. Wow. It sucks. Let's try it again. I don't know if it's worth it, just because this next fight is like... Alright, this next fight. It would have been better to just damn play the Reaper first off. I would have had more life in the end. Hmm. 
Make sure to follow Matador, Ma Matador D. Matador D. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and dig. Nice. Okay, so it's gonna be Gremlin Leader or Book of Stabbing. Huh. Excuse me, sir. A lot of damage you're doing at the moment. I would appreciate it if you uh, calm down just a little bit. See, that's a weaken, right? But we want to kill this dude because he gives me some bad debuffs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that up for Reaper. I feel like this is the Reaper play I have to make, right? It's not the it's not you don't wanna do it, but sometimes you just gotta do it. Killing it. Killing it, baby. I could have done Fear Pot. No, that was a possibility. That was an option. But not necessary. Alright, GG. <sighs> Gamingship is nice. So this, I like, I think this is a nice beta art as well. Like, this, something about this is... I like it. Alright. Are we... Are we taking bludgeon with Snyko Eye? Metallicize? Are we taking the max HP? Probably taking max, H, max HP here. Metallicize is sort of interesting because we could utilize, um... The block even after corruption. Getting rid of some of my skills. I think the fact that Bludge is so expensive and at times could be played for much cheaper, still don't know. I feel like it's maybe not necessary. Yeah, Demon Form turn 1 is really strong. I think I just take the max HP here. It's worth it. I mean, what what good does my deck... I, I guess this actually handles like minions, right? So if we're going against like... I mean, yeah, this is pretty good front loaded. But the deck already has so much offense. I'm gonna pass. But man, Gunmanship is amazing. It's a 32 damage strike. Yeah. Yeah. I know, when you put it into that context, obviously it's very good. But what if I said I don't want any strike at all? I mean, okay, that's kind of facetious, right? So say like, man, I don't care if it's 32 damage strike, I don't want any strike. I mean, it's true, I don't want to add any strikes to my deck. But like, it makes you consider, if it's a 32 damage strike, you can make room for it. But yeah, I don't want to add any strikes at all to my deck. That's, that, was, that was my play. Alright, Reaper's gonna be good here. It's gonna be a good reaper, baby. I think I like doing flex first, too. Okay. 
Look at it this way. My heavy blade is like bludgeon, but on steroids, right? Max HP. So let's say, are we digging one more time, or do we want to upgrade the shockwave sentinel? Shock. So maybe heavy blade is a decent upgrade. But digging, digging is like so tempting. Whew, it's hot in here, man. Oof. Let's keep digging. Nice. I might. Keep, I want to get rid of one of these strikes. What else, what else do I want to get out? I want to get rid of the curses as well. That works. So I want to trigger the strike. Here's what I want to do. This is perfect, actually. Less strikes, more consistent defense. Now we just wait. Now we just wait. We don't have to do corruption just yet. True get the flex. Could probably gonna do corruption. I can do corruption the next go around. We do corruption the next go around. Get this out of the way now. Last strike, get it out of the deck. To get rid of strikes is a little bit monka esque considering we're playing Corruption, right? Because... But we'd rather draw into Heavy Blade and our spot Sword Boomerang anyways, right? We'd rather see that instead of Strike, so that's fine. Alright, we're good. It's like probably like 80 plus right here where I'm at. Where I'm sitting. So we're going to get Frail, which is good, because then we can go for the win. I actually want to proc him forward. There's no rush, per se. He's making me weaken now. Doesn't matter though. Talk about unnecessary limit break. Fiend Fire is great though. Whew. Talk about unnecessary limit break. Cost could be random. Fiendfire can take a really big hand because I snuck away and dump all my strength and do crazy amount of stuff. Also, the exhaust could be useful for not only thinning out the deck, but down the line if we get you know Dark Embrace or Funeral Pain it gives you block as well. It's pretty versatile. Heavy Blade is actually yeah a great strength up in card, but often it's too expensive. It's really good in snake away. Have I seen Disarm? No, I haven't seen it, no. <laughs> Lame Freak? No, no, no. Berserk? Nope. Well, Berserk is some kind of insurance, because I would like to get some energy, but... If we do, li if we do Limit Break... Nah, because what the deck wants... Hmm. I do want energy, but... We are some, there are some cards we want to see. Like, we do want to see Fino Pain, probably, because I want a little bit more to my block. I also probably want to see Disarm. Let's see. Oh, I like that. That's actually, see, that, that was, see, I like that, that art style. I think it's like the same kind of art style of Unload. I'm never, I'm never taking Berserker again. Yeah.
We have a lot of gold. Where do we get all this gold from? Awaken one? Let's go. So the shop's gonna be useful so we can find the um oh hello. So we can find the disarm and stuff like that. A Trigger is awkward here, it's like I forgot to mention the Busted Crown and Singing Bullet is pretty good. Forgot to mention that. Berserk if you get Pellets is, is cool. Yeah, I, I like that. That's the stuff. That's the stuff, baby. Alright. Master strategy is not bad. The cost is a little bit... What's the limiting factor here? PNC is actually quite nice for a number of reasons. Um, I mean, I just like Panacea for... A matter of fact, I have so many... I have Toxic Egg, but I barely have any skills that I've added. In fact, I think since Toxic Egg, I haven't added a single skill. Okay, so I need a the problem here now is we need to make sure we have enough tools and, and defense to handle, you know, the heart. So second wind could be useful, but metallicize is also kind of eh, especially against a weakened one. Penacy, I think is okay. Um, master strategy. Probably gonna pass here. I might remove a strike here. If I remove a strike that makes Fiendfire have less targets, but that's okay. I'm gonna wait for another shot actually. That's it. That's, that's it right there. Yep, no problem. Hey, what's up, buddy? Who actually let's keep this let's get rid of Panacea here. It's actually not helping me here. I 
At this point, my strength is better than my defense, so I should probably just get rid of it. I should probably just get rid of the skills, because my, my strength is actually better. Alright, how many do you want to do here? We did pass that branch, so I could probably take up that branch. It, it might happen. Look at our options. Taking that one, baby. You know the cost might be messed up. Nice. I like this fight weakness here. Questions, are we doing corruption now? I don't think so. Huh. Maybe I do. I changed my mind, so maybe I do. The wounds suck though. Okay. Hmm. Bag of prep, bag of prep, man. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I moved it up. I moved it up this time. This guy's interesting. This guy's interesting. I have, even if I, I have one more. So even if in you know, the worst case scenario, we're fine here. I'll, I'll do corruption later. Corruption now. Not you know. I realize since the form is out. What's cool here is that like we get, we get a um, the flex actually with Panacea is it's kind of an interesting combo. Oh, we have lethal. Whirlwind dumps my strength, and I don't really have AOE like that. We have so much gold. He only gives it once. He gives you the parasite once, and he's done. To corruption or not to corruption? Uh, hmm. I can get more out of this. I feel like I'm not taking full advantage of this Reaper. Hmm, I want the strength, but let's do, uh... Hmm. 
Let's get Reaper in his call it a day. I haven't the corruption yet, have I? Hoping for Reaper here. We just have like no card draw. Wow. Sentinel plus uh, a second heavy blade. How do we feel about second heavy blade? Pummel I think is pretty good. The bomb? We like the bomb. They updated it, didn't they? So now it stacks. Eh. I used to be a big fan of the bomb. I think I'm out of that phase. I think Sentinel's pretty good. But I want to remove another, get another strike, yeah? Alright. Again, we save our money even once more. Another heavy blade, though, is... At Perhaps not bad. Pummel as well. Pummel exhausts itself, does a lot of shrink dumping. Heavy Blade is also big superstar. I might buy Pummel here. Um, Shuriken is not necessary for me, but Discovery is interesting. Is there another shop somewhere? I can start thinking about potions for the heart here as well. You don't go for difference. I'm, I'm supposed to be digging, yeah? Damn it. Now I got a recall. Okay, he's not bad here. What are these mods? No mods. There ain't no mods here. Ain't nothing but a jeep thing, baby. Shrug, hey, I would take it. With the recall, we didn't get. To, I mean, it's like I'm actually at a point where like fantasy is cool. Let's bring back Serpent Ring. I guess all I want is a charm. Probably upgrade Happy Blade. How much damage is that? Is that well above? Let me see. One, two. Yeah, GG. For juice. Iron Wave does give us block and dumps our dance. Nope. Max HP. Alright. Recall. Let's go. We have some powers here that maybe I wouldn't want to play. But let me see. Let's get rid of that. Actually, I'll keep that.
Hmm, maybe him, but no, it's fine. Come here, buddy. Come here. I'll drink the food juice. I'll drink it. It's one of those fights where you don't want to trigger it too early. So you want to keep it cool. You want to keep it cool until you have enough strength that it doesn't matter that you use corruption. Like, we're getting to a place where, like, maybe Corruption is approaching a good spot. Because we have a lot of strength, right? But we can stall it even more. I mean, maybe I'll do it now, actually. A lot of damage, huh? I should have done team fire. Am hey, I bad? My doggy's crying. I, my doggy, I just, uh, I'll just walk the doggies. All right, we're going to get time here. Okay. I might want to do true and sensing to have a bigger turn here. Game plan here: consistent block, demon form, scale up, win the game. Okay. Corruption early? No. Penis is pretty good here. Really get this out of the deck. See, I can take more damage, but Reaper is a thing. I take damage, it's fine. So get rid of Fiend Fart. It's fine. Except for turns like this, of course. Getting rid of my skills means that corruption is okay. But we're approaching lethal, basically. Bash is a big, 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 big killer. I believe that's lethal. Imagine I'm doing corruption first. Eh.
I might I might not actually have lethal because I messed it up. Whoopsies. We're not like full life for the next fight, but uh, close enough, right? I shall. I probably must upgrade, right? Upgrade the things like heavy blade and fiend fire, but I also want to dig. Let's just dig. Okay. Dead branch. No. Pennib seems to be the play. Pennib, all these memes don't remove. Let me see. Blinds. Now blinds. All right, so we have Juggernaut. It's not we not Juggernaut. We have uh, Shockwave. We have Clothesline. This gets rid of both artifacts on the uh, minions. Sorry, the elite. The cost is the only awkward part. How much gold do we have if we do Pennib smooth stone here? Like another heavy bit or something. I can even buy a potion, perhaps. Like a blood pot's pretty good. Okay. So three thirty-one. So we're gonna have like one hundred and thirty-eight gold. One hundred thirty-eight gold is that enough to remove? It's enough for like heavy blade and a potion, or blind. I feel like we're really well suited here. I like blind because I want to make sure that I have the mitigation for the heart at all times, right? And but it might just be better to take like a head, but blood pot here probably. It's so like blood plot and heavy base is a perfect amount of gold. It's almost it's almost too perfect to not take. That's never a good way to conclude your decisions, but hey. I think we'll do string pie here. Corruption now. Hmm. Let's say we do Sentinel first. prevent more damage. The problem is that this takes away from takes away from Reaper, but Reaper should be enough solely on this person. The problem is holding on for Reaper. Is it even worth it? Waste Pendant and then Reaper is like... It's only 6 HP. 
I fucked that up, maybe. Probably fucked that up this time. Alright, that's fine. I want to find Panacea here. I want to keep the weaken. Panacea is really important. Ah, we didn't find it. That sucks is really to be vulnerable. We could do things like bash and strike, but eh. I should the first returns and we're fine. Corruption now is too early. But is it though? Because we already have Demon Form out, we're already scaling up, and now we should start dumping damage. So is it too early? I could have, uh, I could have bashed. You're right. Because that wasn't going to hurt me and it just does damage. I just missed out on opportunity damage. That, that could be bite me in the butt. Because by not doing bash there, it was not only was it free, but I'm just like, yeah, it's just damage that I missed out on. You know, I only have a limited amount of turns to do damage. Yeah, it's a little early, but yeah, doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of regret not doing that bash earlier. I need weaken. Damn. So Dark Shack was to be useful for a multi-hit turn, but I can't guarantee that. Can't guarantee that I'm gonna get rid of his artifacts, I mean. So we have Dark Shackles, but like I, like I said, I can't guarantee. Damn. GG. All right. Above all else, I want to make sure we get the win there. Really good run. From like what? Floor zero, I believe. All right, it had everything you want, right? It got the Reaper, the Strength Scaling, Max HP. Uh, corruption and Sneka Y doing free things. Yeah, perfect.